So all of a sudden, obviously, we can start to play around with all these different uh, elements, these data types. But how do I how do I start to kind of use them in kind of an algorithmic sense? And one of the things that we can do is we can basically start to utilize variables. Now, variables you learned about them in algebra class, but we're able to use them again all of a sudden because their sole purpose is to just be available for later use. And so let's say, for example, I've got this cube rectangular, uh, three-dimensional rectangle. Uh, all of a sudden, I want to go ahead and say, well, how can I calculate this out? I know the mathematical formula for it. Uh, it's right there. Two uh, times length times width plus width times height plus height times length. I, I've got this formula. So how do I start to apply that? I don't want to have to type out those numbers all the time. You know, I don't want to have to type everything multiple times. And that's actually one of the tenets of being a computer programmer is we want to be lazy. I only want to have to do something once. And so the same idea kind of comes into play. So if I'm looking at, say, for example, our kind of formula, I have a length, a width, and a height. Well, I have these three things. So I should use those three things to create variables. The first one I'm going to use is uh, I'm going to call it width. Now, you notice I'm able to just kind of give it that full name. In algebra, you always saw that people would just do W or X or I or something like that, N. Well, Python's a little bit more forgiving. It's, a, it's able to go and say, instead of, you know, something that I, I might not understand what W is. I know with, you know, in this context, but it's, it could get a little confusing later on. There's only 26 letters in the alphabet, so, you know, we're going to run out of space sooner or later. Instead, let me give it a full-fledged name. Let me give it something like width, because all of a sudden, I know what that means. In the context of my code, I'm understanding that width is the width of my three-dimensional object. Now, one of the things that I can do is I can come in here and I can apply the equal sign. Now, the equal sign actually has a new kind of term to it inside of programming. It's considered the assignment operator. Whatever I have on the right side, 62, is going to be assigned to the variable on the left side. And this actually matters left to right because all of a sudden, let's say, let me flip it. Let me, when I'm designing out height, let me say, oh, well, the height's going to be 100. 100 equal height. Oh, well, it's clearly yelling at us. One, uh, the issue is 100 is a number. And so if we're following that same kind of left-right association, I, I just said, make the number 100 equal to something I've never made before. So it's, it, it's just freaking out. It's like, no, you can't do that. So... Instead, height equals 100. Perfectly fine, A-OK. -okay. And then lastly, length equals, we'll just say 25. Now, I've already got the mathematical formula in place, so all of a sudden, because I have these variables, I'm able to use them. I'm able to, say, for example, type width. And I have width all of a sudden. Well, I can continue on with this. I can create one, I'll call it area set it equal, and all right, well, let me just follow what I've got going on uh, on the screen. Two, two quotations, length times width, closing one, plusing uh, width times height plus height times length. Okay, it errored. Why? Oh, int object not cobble. Well, Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me, but the problem is this. It's actually coming in, and right here, while this is okay in math, we all understand sort of I'm multiplying everything by two. Again, we're running into the, the limitations of a computer. It's not going to infer this because it sees a number. It, it, it has a very structured sense of how it expects to work with numbers. If I don't if I deviate from that, it freaks out. So if I want to kind of handle that, all of a sudden I put in that asterisk because I'm doing the multiplication. Instead of it, you know, trying to infer it because the computer doesn't infer well, I have to explicitly tell it you need to multiply all of this by that too. And you see, I get no problems. And so if I want to come in and 
display it. I can type area, and I get 20,500. 